Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about projection in computer graphics. Let's talk about projection. Projection in computer graphics means the transformation of three-dimensional area into two-dimensional area. The plane in the area into which we transform or project the object is called table. Basically, there are two types of projections. Parallel projection and perspective projection. This is the flow chart to show the types of projection in computer graphics. Basically, projection is divided into parallel and perspective. Parallel projection have parallel projectors, while perspective projection have converging projectors. Parallel projection is further divided into two parts, that is orthographic projection and oblique projection. Orthographic projection is further divided into two that is multi-view and exonometric projection. Exonometric projection on the other hand is further divided into three parts that is isometric projection, diametric projection and triametric projection. Talking about perspective projection, it also have three parts, one point, two point and three point projection. Later in this video, we are going to see this all types in more detail. So let's start with parallel projection. Parallel projection is the transformation of three dimension area into a plane. As the name suggests, this projection have all projection rays parallel. As you can see in the diagram, AB is the three dimensional area which is projected on a projection plane and we get the object as A dash B dash with the parallel lines of the end points. Here is the center of projection at infinite. It is also determined by a table and by a projection direction which cannot be parallel with the table. Now types of parallel projection. Parallel projection have two types, orthographic and oblique. When the projection is perpendicular to the view plane, we call it as orthographic projection. Here, the direction of projection is normal to the projection plane and the projection is perpendicular to the view plane. While in oblique projection, the projection is not perpendicular to the view plane, that is, the direction of projection is not equal normal to the projection plane and the projection is not perpendicular to view plane. This is the diagram to show orthographic projection and oblique projection. It has the projection perpendicular to view plane. On the other hand, oblique has the projection is slightly tilted to the view plane. It is not perpendicular. This is a diagram to show a 3D object for orthogonal projection. It is the top view projection plane, it is the front view projection plane and it is the side view projection plane of the object. Then we have oblique projection. The direction of projection is not perpendicular to the viewing plane. It is the most general projection, uh, actually it is the most general parallel projection known. Now we will see types of orthographic projection. Multi-view projection. It is an illustration technique in which up to six pictures of an object are produced with each projection plane parallel to one of the coordinate axes of the object. As you can see in the diagram, it is also termed as glass box approach. This is the unfolded glass box and this is the object in the glass box. The views are positioned relative to each other according to either of two schemes, first angle projection or third angle projection. Now, talking about exonometric projection, this type of projection is used for creating pictorial drawing of an object. As you can see in the diagram, this is the object and we have made drawing of the object by taking parallel rays from the ends of the object. 
Also, the lines of sight are perpendicular to the plane of projection and the object is rotated around one or more of its axes to reveal multiple sides. This is axonometric projection. Now we will see the types of axonometric projection. Axonometric projection are divided into three types, isometric, diametric and trimetric. Isometric projection is the most commonly used form. The direction of viewing is such that the three axes of space appear equally foreshortened and there is common angle of 120 degree between them. As the direction caused by foreshortening is uniform, the proportionality between length is preserved and the axes share a common scale. In diametric projection, the direction of viewing is such that two of the three axes of space appear equally foreshortened of which the attendant scale and the angle of presentation are determined according to the angle of viewing. The scale of the third direction is determined separately. In trimetric, the direction of viewing is such that all of the three axes of space appear unequally foreshortened. The scale along each of the three axes and the angles among them are determined separately as dictated by the angle of viewing. This is the diagram to show three types of axonometric projection. In isometric, you can see A and B are larger. In diametric, A and B are equal to each other. And in trimetric, a is not equal to B, that is B is smaller than A. Now we will discuss types of oblique projection. Oblique projection have two types, cavalier and cabinet. In cavalier projection, all lines are perpendicular to the projection planes and these are projected with no change in line. While in cabinet projection, lines are projected with half the line. This is the major difference between them. In the diagram, you can see cavalier have full scale measurements while cabinet has half scale measurement. And this 45 degree is chosen as arbitrarily angle. Now, the second part of our division that is perspective projection. Talking about perspective projection, this is used to produce images which look natural. When we view scenes in everyday life, far away items appear small relative to nearer items. A side effect of perspective projection is that parallel lines appear to converge on a vanishing point. Later in this video, we will see what vanishing point is. Here you can see AB is the three-dimensional object which is projected on a projection plane and through the end points, we can see it is intersected at a point known as center of projection and we get the object as A dash B dash. Also, an important feature of perspective projection is that it preserves straight lines. This allows us to project only the endpoints of 3D line and then draw a 2D line between the projected endpoints. Now, we will see types of perspective projection. Perspective projections are three. One point perspective is this. This is the two point perspective and this is the three point perspective. Now, the vanishing points are formed by the apparent intersection of lines parallel to one of the three principles x, y, z, axis. Sets of parallel lines on the same plane led to collinear vanishing points. The line is called horizon for that plane. Now, one point projection. A perspective projection that forms when there exists a single principal face which is parallel to the projected plane. This is simply saying that a single vanishing point exists for an object. In one point projection, you can see there exists only one vanishing point. In two-point projection, there exists two vanishing points for the object. Which means, a projected plane intersected two principal axes of an object. In the diagram, you can see there are two vanishing points. 
three point projection that forms when a projected plane intersects at three principal axes of an object that is three vanishing points exist for an object in this diagram you can see there exist three vanishing point for the object first second and third this is the view from worm's eye as worm is seen in above direction and this is the view from bird's eye as bird is above high in the sky so they will look down so these are the types of projections and we had also looked about the subtypes of further projections this is the end of our video thank you